Hey guys, Rob from ClicksGeek.com, and today I want to give you guys something pretty cool. This is our core weekly tasks to optimize your Google Ads campaign. All right, if you just do these, I think there's four, well, one, two, three, there's four, all right, so we're going to do four today. These are the four core optimization tasks that you have to do on a weekly basis, at least once a week, and your accounts will not only keep steady and produce leads, but they'll grow over time. All right, now there's obviously a lot more optimization tactics that are far more advanced that we're going to get into. I'll make another video for that. But for this, this is just all about the core weekly tasks that you have to be doing. Whether it's for your own Google Ads campaign or a client you're managing, it doesn't really matter. If you do these tasks, you're going to be in good hands. All right, so as you can see on our screen here, you're in one of our client accounts. Now, actually, I guess I should go over what the, facts, what the uh, core tasks are first. So first up is bid management. That's... <laughs> Excuse me. That's a uh, uh, keyword bid management, all right? And that's basically adjusting your bids on the fly every week to make sure you're not overspending or underspending. We want to find a nice medium for that, all right? So bid management's number one. Number two is device bids. Now, different devices send different converting traffic, all right? So if you have, you know, uh, desktop computers are converting at three percent and mobile traffic is converting at 36%. Why are you going to waste time with desktop traffic? All right, there's an easy fix for that that you could, it's basically a switch you can flip and almost immediately you're going to get more leads and more conversions because you're only going to be sending high converting traffic. All right, so number two, device bids. Number three, adding keywords that win. Adding keywords that you're not currently bidding on that are driving you conversions. This is a huge one that's overlooked. And number four today is going to be adding negative keywords that are actually proven to be wasting your money. All right, so these are just some very simple core weekly optimization tasks that you should be doing. So if we're going to go into number one here, which is bid management, we'll come into our client's account. You can see here it's a junk removal guy. And we'll look, see, so here's the thing. This, this guy is using maximized conversions, which is an auto bid strategy. So there's not really much I can do um, bid management wise because I'm letting Google's algorithms do all the heavy lifting and all the bidding and they're going into each auction and just deciding what to bid based on the data they have from the machine learning algorithm of what's converting best for the client and they're just they're just bidding for us so if you're running a maximized conversion strategy bid management's not really much you can do except you can pause deadweight keywords all right now what is a deadweight keyword deadweight keywords are keywords that have gotten lots of clicks and no conversions or you know gotten lots of clicks and converted very poorly and the conversion rate the cost per lead is extremely high way outside of your wheelhouse of where you want to be so for this guy we ideally want our leads around around 45 50 bucks so if he's getting a, if he's getting a, a lead for a hundred dollars and that's over 90 day time frame you always want to do bid major keyword pauses based on uh, a 90 day time frame because sometimes a keyword won't convert one week, but it'll convert the next week. So you need a, a solid block of time before you start pausing stuff. All right. Or it could be, or you could get a lot of clicks fast in a week. If you get 150 clicks on a keyword in a week or something like that, and there's no conversions, obviously pause it. I mean, within reason, you got you to gotta apply some logic to it when you're looking at it. I say 90 days for keyword pauses because the guys that I'm dealing with are not, they're getting, look at this, this is what, 192 clicks a week. So, I mean, yeah. It's not really that many clicks to start pausing stuff. You need a, a nice data sample. But anyway, so you're going to go into your campaign, go into each ad group, and you're just going to comb through the keywords. Remember, this is if you're running an auto bid. Oh, I'm already in all time data. Okay, cool. And we're going to look at the clicks here. Clicks versus conversions. All right, so four is not really a sample size enough to decide to pause that. So ideally, when you want to pause a dead weight, keyword you want to have at least 10 clicks and no conversion that's just my rule of thumb there really is no general say so um, just keep that in mind and I really wouldn't do anything with this because this guy's really dialed in all the cost per leads look good so I'm not going to pause anything here let's go back up and you're just going to go through your ad groups one at a time Yeah, there's nothing here. All right, so there's nothing I'm going to pause in this client's account, bid management-wise. So just keep that in mind when you're doing it. Um, 
you want to you want to actually have uh, keywords that have a lot of clicks and no conversions. That's what you're going to pause. All right. Now that now keep in mind this this bid management tactic is only for when you're running an auto bid maximize conversions type strategy. Now if we're running manual bids here and I'm actually bidding keywords, bid management takes on a whole new meaning in a weekly task because you're going to be looking at individual keyword bids and you're going to be changing these. All right. So how do what do I mean by that? Very quickly, because this is, I have a whole video going in depth on how to do this on my channel under playlist, uh, Google Ads bidding. So you can check that out for more in depth stuff. But quickly, um, if you're manual bidding and you're controlling the bids on the keywords, it's really simple. You're going to go into your account at the ad group level, go into each, each uh, ad group and look at the keywords. And if you have keywords that are sending leads that are too high, like if this was like $97 a lead all right that's too high so you're going to come over to your bid you're going to see what you're bidding and you're going to reduce it assuming you don't mind you know dropping the bid down to get you might get a little bit lower leads but this is just what you got to do if you can't accept what the cost per lead is and if that's so that's how you're going to do that you're going to go in you're going to start incrementally dropping your bids guys this takes time to do so don't just go in there and drop it five dollars because you'll just basically turn off your lead source and the keyword and if the keyword is sending leads we don't want to turn it off all right not yet we want to see if we can salvage it first by lowering the cost per lead so incrementally every week drop it a little bit if it's until you get it to where you want to get it and i'm talking like a dollar all right just keep keep dropping that down till you get the lead cost to where you want to get it now on the flip side of that <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> on the flip side of that if you have a keyword that is sending you leads at a really really great cost per lead and you and you want to bid more to get more of those leads you can do that but you have to also keep in mind you got to make sure you have runway to to bid higher and by runway i mean your ads are not maxed out at 100 percent impression share because 100 percent impression share basically means that you can't you're getting all of the your ads are showing for all every time someone searches all right <clears throat> And you can see here, 59%, 52%. 52% is for the absolute top, I'm sorry, for the for the top of the uh, search results page, which just means in, your ads are showing in one of the four spots on the top of Google's ads. All right, so what this means here, 52%, means this for, our, for this keyword, junk removal, phrase match, our ad is showing 52 times in one of the top four spots out of every 100 searches. All right, so what that tells me is, I have a shitload more of runway that I can bid more. <clears throat> and if this keyword is sending me leads and the cost per lead is low, which is 40 bucks, I can go higher. I can get more leads and spend a little bit more. I'm going to increase that bid. Now, keep in mind, when you increase your bids, it's a lot like when you're decreasing them. You're going to increase them incrementally. Do it like a dollar ten or a dollar oh three or a dollar a, a plus something low. All right. You want to keep your bids very low when you increase. And when you decrease, all right, because you don't want to do something drastic that you can that can crush your campaign in, in the next week. You know what I mean? So you want to you want to make sure you're incrementally doing stuff. And then every week you're analyzing what you've done, which is an important why you should have a Google sheet of changes you made to the account. Or you can always go into change history and see what changes you made the previous week, which is usually what I do. And um, <clears throat> so that's pretty much bid management. It The gist. I know, guys, I. I kind of glossed over it, but I like I said, I have a really in-depth video in this in our channel, so I'm not really going to spend too much time on it. A lot goes into this, but that's just one of the things that you can uh, quickly analyze the account within a week and start making changes based on that. So next up is device bids. Come under devices. You can see here we got a 36% conversion rate on mobile phones and a 23% on desktop computers and a 25% on tablets. So these are all acceptable conversion rates for me. Anything over 20%, I'm extremely happy. 36% is just incredible. Loving it. Um, now, I could bid a little more to get more leads from this source. And the leads are affordable. They're $35. You can see here the, the higher price leads were desktop. So what I'm going to do here, as you can see I've done, is I have came in and I've decrease the bid a little bit to try and offset that cost. I'm actually going to drop that down a little bit more because I don't want to be paying really $50 a lead. And I'm going to increase by 5% our mobile bids because one, they're converting much higher than everything else. And two, they're $35, which is extremely affordable. I can bump that to 40 if I need to be to get more volume. And you can see here in the all-time thing, it sent us 55 leads. 
Now, if we just go back to 30 days, just give that a minute. Because like I said, these are weekly tasks. So actually, we should probably move it to uh, last seven days. All right, so 21 leads at $28. So you can see I've actually been doing this, so it's been dropping down. <clears throat> so 21 leads in the last seven days at $28 a lead at a 43% conversion rate because I've been dialing this in for the client. Uh, desktop still expensive. So that's why I just adjusted that. We're going to a little higher from minus five to minus 8% bids. And this is what you're going to do. All right. This is how you're going to optimize your devices. But keep in mind, impression share top. You want to make sure if you're going to increase bids, you have runway, just like the keyword. So if we're at 100% here, there's no point for me to increase paying more for my for my mobile phone devices if I'm maxed out 100%, which you can see here I'm not. All right, so that is devices. And next up, we're going to go into adding keywords that you're already winning for you. And by doing that, we're going to keywords. <coughs> oh, sorry, guys. <clears throat> allergies all right so we're going to go into search terms and you can see here these are the actual keywords typed into google that have driven you a lead or not so just basically anytime your ad showed and someone clicked on it these are the keywords that were showed and you can see here these are all the ones that converted now now here's where you can come in you can add keywords that have sent you a lead that you might not currently be bidding on so this keyword <clears throat> appliance removal Virginia Beach that's a that sent us a lead in our appliance removal ad group for $25 all right that's awesome so there's two things you can do with this and this is for just this instance because this is a geo modified keyword I could actually create a new ad group called appliance removal Virginia Beach and then put this keyword in there or if you don't want to go through all that and you just want to throw it in with your regular appliance removal ad group I could just add it to that group, which is fine for right now. Junk removal from home, all right, and from our, that was a keyword, a search term that came from our junk removal ad group, and that sent a lead for $14, all right, so I'm definitely gonna add that. And you guys get what I'm doing here, right? I'm just gonna go through and you're gonna find your winners to add that have converted that you're not currently bidding on. And then you come up here, add this keyword. Now this is important. I always, always, always add as exact match first. All right, if I'm adding keywords on a weekly basis, I'm always adding them as exact match. All right, then you hit save and boom. We just added two keywords that sent us very cheap leads that we were not currently bidding on last week. All right, and you're going to go keep going through the same here from bidding to not bidding. And now you're going to go through and find the shitty keywords that are wasting your money that you might not want to bid on. All right, and you're going to add those same. So let's just say, I don't think there's any in here because I have this pretty dialed in, but you just choose this. You would come here, add as negative keyword, campaign level, save, and you would add it, and that's how you would find your negative keywords. And these are the four tasks you want to be doing on a weekly basis. So keep that in mind, guys, core weekly tasks. Hopefully this uh, video helped you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out the links in the description. I dropped some cool stuff in there, including a three-part video series called Google Ads Combat I'm sorry, Google Ads Optimization Combat Training Tactics. It's where I go through how to optimize in detail what we do every week too. Just kind of expands on what we've just learned today a little bit. So keep that in mind and uh, check that out. All right, guys. Bye.